Morning guys, just got home from Lacrosse, Wisconsin for the title championship. I came home to a box we've all been waiting on for a little while. We've got a box full of all the new signature series rods from Favorite. So let's dig in this thing, check them out, see what we have, and we'll talk about them. So first up is b -Lads. one of b -Lads rods. Comes with a nice, nice rod sleeve. Nice rod. This thing's pretty light too. Let's see what we got. This is a 610 medium. Pretty nice rod. I'll probably throw some square bills or something on it. I like that matte finish on it. It's clean. It's a six stick. Again, that's one of Latimer's rods. Nice rod. Feels really good too. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Latimer has a couple more, so let's see what we got. Uh, here's another one. Another one of Latimer's rods, another nice sleeve. Let's see, it's a spinning rod. We've got a seven foot one. That's, that's pretty, that feels pretty good too. It's nice and light, again just like his one, one of his other ones. I really like what he did with the handle too. Um, you'll see later on, this handle is real similar to mine, a little bit different, but um, the grip is, is one of my favorites. So, good feeling rod. You could probably do a lot of things with this rod too, not just one, that's, that's another thing I really like about it. You could probably drop shot, throw a Ned rig, um, throw lighter, maybe like a lighter shaky head with it. It's light, but it feels like it's got a little bit of power. Again, another matte finish on it too. Really appealing rod. Let's see. Here's his third one. This is a bigger rod here. Seven foot two, extra fast, medium heavy rod. Be a good rod, probably throw in a square bill. Maybe a chatterbait. Looks like it would load up pretty good. Matte finish, b lats name on it, all three six sticks. All three look like they're gonna be based at 129 bucks. It's a great rod for 129 bucks. And you get rod covers. A little added bonus. Okay, who's up next? Let's see. The GOAT. This is Andy Morgan's rod. This one's based off the Pro Series. Seven foot six, and uh, you know what this rod is going to be used for. This is a flipping stick. Seven foot six, fast action. Obviously, it's a heavy rod, light and weight, balanced really good. Anything with Andy Morgan's name on it's going to be great. I can't wait to start flipping with this rod. The goat. Looks like a hex rod and it's MDJ's. Mark Daniels Jr. It's a seven foot eight heavy extra fast action. The hex rod as Andy's Andy's uh, based off the Pro Series. That's that's one of my favorite factory lineups that we have is the Pro Series rod. Uh, Andy based his flipping stick off of that and made a little bit of, you know, adjustments to his liking, and it feels great. This is the hex base that MDJ is, 
put his touches on. And the Hex is a top tier, top of the line, um, ultra lightweight rod. And this one's seven eight, so you know I'm sure he meant for this to be a flipping stick as well. It feels really good. It loads up really well. Um, you know this rod would be really good for doing a lot of flipping, probably not getting fatigued because it's lightweight, but it's still got the power. So super nice rod. The Hex is it's a beautiful rod from Favorite. Super ultra sensitive. Um, clean rod mark that's beautiful let's see what we got one more caster rod this is DC's rod Dustin Connell and this one is ultra lightweight this one's based off the summit which is the top dog in favorites lineup. It's, it's the highest end rod they have. I like what he's done with it. He's extended the grip down. Really, really pretty rod too. It's got a lot of detail in it. Appearance wise, it's the cleanest, uh, most simple rod I think we have in the whole lineup, but it's high weight. It's like a feather. It's ultra lightweight. Dustin's is a, uh, seven foot two medium heavy extra fast action i know dustin throws a lot of swim jigs and stuff i would have to guess he probably built that built this rod for that or a lot of things real similar to it a lot of these rods are built with one thing in mind but when you fish with them and you play with them a little bit you see other things that you can do and, and benefit from having it this thing is super super lightweight it's a beautiful rod Dustin did a great job with this. $349 price point, which is good for a summer. That's a that's a great rod. And we got a couple of spinning poles. Let's see. Jonathan Van Dam. This is the jackhammer style, similar rod. Jonathan Van Dam's rod, it's a 610 medium. Uh, you know, Jonathan's one of the best in the country at smallmouth fishing, and any anytime we go up north, he's a force to be reckoned with. So, you know, he's got the, got the right mindset and ideas to build a good rod. So, being a 610, there's a lot of things you can do with it also. And this thing is lightweight as well. It's a little bit smaller profile, it looks like. Again, a nice clean cut. Nothing over the top, fancy wise. Two hundred eighty-nine dollars spinning rod. That's gonna catch a lot of fish, I bet. I guarantee I'll have one. One more here. Another rod from Jonathan. Feels like it's a little bit bigger. This is a 7.6 medium heavy, so it's a little bit longer rod. Action feels about the same, just with that extra length. You could probably get away with throwing a tube on it, making longer casts, those type of things. Really good feeling rod as well. Based at 289 bucks, Jonathan Van Dam's. One of the best at smallmouth fishing. And of course, I've got mine as well. Um, my three are, I'll go into detail on them in another video too, but I've got a seven, seven flipping stick, real similar to Andy's, it feels like. I've got a seven, three all purpose rod, um, which I literally have had for a little while. I've got to use it and abuse it, fished with it almost exclusively at the Mississippi River last weekend and uh, put it through the ringer and they're doing a great job. So I've got those two and then I've got a 7-1 spinning rod also that you can throw a wacky worm, drop shot, finesse fish with. Um, I'll get into those details on those three separate, but 
a great lineup of rods from favorite from the whole team. Um, you know, I'm excited to finally have gotten this box and see everybody else's rods. Can't wait to put them to use on the water and hopefully uh, we'll get back out there and start making some money with our team rods.